Dementia Alliance started in 2018, there are a number of organisations, uh, including health and uh, providers and um, education organisations that were keen to put their foot in the water. One of the objectives of the Central Coast Dementia Alliance is to promote dementia awareness in our local community. We approached some of the libraries to discuss the books they had on dementia for school aged children. My name is Bobby Redman. I live with dementia and I'm sitting on the Central Coast Dementia Alliance. It's really important that people with dementia are involved in the, the Dementia Alliance um, because our input um, ensures that it remains true to, to what is right for people with dementia. One of the strategies that we came up with was approaching schools to be able to provide education for children whose perhaps grandparents or family member is living with dementia. And several on the committee uh, reached out, uh, found different children's books. Uh, we looked at books that um, were basically about the topic at a child's level, but found that some were perhaps too wordy or required some pictures or were too high a level for the age group we felt we wanted to aim for in this first uh, approach with this. One of the reasons that we chose the books that we chose is because we didn't want to focus too heavily on just memory loss. Once we had selected the books, we posted them to all of the 66 primary schools on the Central Coast, as well as the 10 libraries. 65% of people diagnosed with dementia in New South Wales in 2022 actually still live at home in the community, so we really wanted to highlight that this isn't something that only happens to really old people. Basically, this book was written by Jenny Lawson, who's a person living with dementia. She lives up in Townsville. Um, and she wrote the book for her granddaughter, Phoebe. So it's, it's written in a very natural way, um, with uh, simple language, very simple language, very simple pictures. The illustrations were done by uh, Karen Nentich, who's another lady living with dementia. And I love, love it in as much as it relates sometimes to memory loss, but it doesn't, it's not, that's not all about it. It's kind of just talking about a relationship between a grandmother and changes in a relationship between a grandmother and a child when, when something like dementia gets, you know, comes into their lives. We can't do it all, but we can still do lots of things. So, you know, the love remains, which is really, really important.